Do you remember to hear live in, well, Heathrow Airport here in the UK on my, my way to UFC 223, which take place in Brooklyn, uh, at the Barclays Centre on Saturday evening. Unfortunately, there's going to be the bearer of bad news last evening. If you're just waking up in Europe, you're going to be finding out that Tony Ferguson is out of his main event fight with Habib Nurmagomedov. Uh, fourth time unlucky, it seems. We thought this fight was going to go ahead. Uh, the fourth time of asking, but last night, unfortunately, the news broke on ESPN. Brett Okamoto reporting that Tony Ferguson had suffered a knee injury. Uh, late last Friday after completing his media obligations at the uh, Fox Sports Studios. He unfortunately tore his LCL uh, ligament in his knee. Straight off the bone we hear, we hear it's a very bad injury. He's going to have to have surgery. Um, but unfortunately, the bad news is that Tony Ferguson is out this fight. Placing him is going to be Max Holloway, the UFC featherweight champion. He's going to be moving up to 155 pounds for the first time in his career on just six days' notice to face the Russian phenom Habib Nurmagomedov, of course, on that 25 fight win streak. Um, crazy circumstances, I mean, what can you say? Holloway, as I was saying there, on a 12 fight win streak, um, but obviously coming off the back of an ankle injury that he suffered uh, prior to his fight, uh, he was supposed to fight Frankie Edgar at UFC 222, uh, last month, he had to pull out of that fight just a few weeks before. He's been recovering on the sidelines ever since. And well, now he's diving in on late notice against Habib. It's um, it's a funny old sport. What can you say? We thought this fight with Tony Ferguson was eventually and finally going to happen, but it's never going to happen, is it? I think as Dana White said yesterday, he wouldn't even try making it for a fifth time. So I think there's a few things to discuss here. Um, Tony Ferguson, Habib. Do we ever even try and get this fight on? As I said there, Dana White is keen for it. He says they're never ever going to try and make it happen. I, I think, I don't know. I don't know. Can you really book this for a fifth time? Five times? Four times sounded ridiculous. Now we're going to have to go five times and we are so close. So close yet again. I mean, what? We're six days away from fight night now. Five days now if you're in the UK like myself. Um, it's just a crazy set of circumstances. This fight just seems to be cursed. Um, I, I can't see how this can ever, it can never headline a fight card ever. I, I don't think, I just think it's too unreliable. Um, and it's just, uh, as a promoter, I personally wouldn't book it. I personally wouldn't book it. And it's such a shame. It's such a shame. I mean, look at all the excitement we had this week. Everyone was so looking forward to this. We were two weeks off from the UFC. Everyone's absolutely buzzing about Tony Ferguson versus Khabib. And yet again, yet again, we're denied. We're not weren't quite as close as we were back at UFC 209, just 24 hours away, but six days away with all hype behind it. This was going to be the main event. Um, yeah, it, it feels like a dagger to the heart. It really does. But let's look on the bright side. Let's look on the bright side. And there is a bright side because we've got um, an extremely brave, I would say, an extremely gutsy. Um, Max Holloway stepping up to the plate, six days notice, going to take him on Khabib. Max has never fought 155 pounds before, and this just goes you, to show you what sort of man Max Holloway is. We, we we always used to talk about Connor as a guy that was willing to step up and willing to take the fight, but now, as Dana White said yesterday, that that's not even that's not even a scenario. And I saw plenty of uh, people commenting on my timeline. Um, why isn't Conor McGregor taking this fight? Why isn't he stepping up to face Khabib? Um, well, frankly, guys, I said it last night. I tweeted it out. Go find it. I said absolutely no chance whatsoever that the UFC uh, put Connor's return on in six days. No way. When Connor returns, it's going to be a big deal. They're going to build it up. It's going to. This is going to be months and months and months of like build up. Um, probably happen in September. I guess it largely depends on what happens. What happens in this fight? I mean, could we? Could we see? Connor going and fighting Max in Hawaii. If that, if if the impossible happens and Max upsets the odds, um, I think the more likely thing, of course, is that we see Connor go and fight Khabib in Russia. Which has that there's been a few seeds planted, as uh, Joey Diaz would say. That the the seed has been planted for that one. We all think he's going to return in September, um, but it just opens up. I mean, once you get over the initial disappointment of what's happened here. You now get the, I guess you can look at the different possibilities that can happen. And as I mentioned, like 
kind of fighting either of Khabib or Max um, is exciting, isn't it? It's exciting and it's probably easier to sell a rematch with Max Holloway uh, second time around. Obviously, they fought back in 20, 2013, sorry, where uh, Connor defeated Max by um, unanimous decision. But so much has happened since then, as we're saying, 12 fight win streak for Max. Like, if he beats Khabib, it's a 13 fight win streak. That's pretty easy to sell that rematch with um, uh, Conor McGregor. And of course, um, Max Holloway with his second ever uh, man to hold the two different weight class, two different belts, two different weight class simultaneously. So, champ champ versus the champ champ. But on the flip side, maybe perhaps the more likely side we could have could be versus Conor in Russia. That's a good fight. Everyone wants to see it. Um, I So, you know, I think. Oh, as I said, after you get over the initial disappointment of what's happened here, and it does hurt, it does hurt. We're all looking forward to this. I, I didn't meet a single person in the world that was saying, meh, whatever, not really looking forward to this fight. Um, we all were, and it hurts, it kills me. I couldn't believe it when I heard the news last night. Obviously, we all thought it was an April Fool's joke for a minute, but fortunately it wasn't. Fortunately it wasn't, so. Headline is, Tony Ferguson's out, Max Holloway's in, and I want you guys to tell me, like, where were you? Where were you when you heard this news? Did you believe it straight away? Um, how do you think this fight is now going to play out? How is Tony Ferguson, uh, sorry, how is Max Holloway going to get on fighting Habib Nurmagomedov on six days notice? Anyway, guys, as I said, I'm about to board a plane. I think I'm actually calling my flight now, so I better go. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully, I'll do a few more of these if, um, if everyone likes them. And hopefully, we can get, get, get going in the comments below. I'll, try and chip in as much there as possible but anyway um i'm the bearer of bad news but there's also good news as well so anyway i'll catch you later and i'll see you during fight week